Hello everyone. Today we're going to have a brief market recap, then talk about why the Australian dollar is the best performing currency this morning. Then onto the British Bankers Association mortgage lending data. This is Marshall Gittler, head of investment research here at FX Primus, bringing you my European opening market comment. Well, the dollar's little changed overall this morning. It was boosted yesterday by news of higher home prices, but then a weak conference board consumer sentiment index, poor results from U.S. consumer companies, and the fact that the Richmond Fed index didn't beat expectations sent the dollar back down. But Fed rate expectations continue to rise, so I think the dollar remains well supported. On the other hand, the pound continued to fall. One conservative member of parliament resigned over the decision to build a new runway at Heathrow, which cuts into Prime Minister May's already small majority even further. The pound stopped falling, though, after Bank of England Governor Carney said that there are limits to the bank's willingness to ignore an overshoot in inflation that's caused by the pound's drop. And oil fell after the American Petroleum Institute said U.S. crude inventories rose a very high 4.75 million barrels last week. Also, OPEC's Russia's representative to OPEC said output cuts are not an option. I still believe oil has more or less peaked, and it should be trending lower. Now, the Australian dollar was the biggest mover among currencies overnight for two reasons. First off, iron ore prices have been rallying again. You can see here how the Australian dollar, the orange line, more or less follows the iron ore price, the white line. Now, the iron ore price itself is following a rally in coal as well, or they're both rallying together. Coal is the green line in this graph. Now, iron ore and coal prices are rising as Chinese steelmakers expand their production. It remains to be seen, though, whether the gains are sustainable. I think the Chinese authorities are currently boosting the economy through stimulus measures, but they can't do that indefinitely. Nonetheless, uh, they're likely to continue to do it for some time, so this rally may last a while further. At the same time, Australian inflation for the third quarter came out higher than expected. The market expected it to be up 0.5% quarter-on-quarter, and it was up 0.7%. So, strong commodity prices, rising inflation, it's a recipe for a stronger Australian dollar. As for today, here in Europe, the British Bankers Association loan approval approvals for house purchases is expected to be slightly higher, but not significantly so. It's still going to be below July's level. This could be perceived as negative for the pound. For, that's it for the European indicators. For an update on the U.S. indicators coming out today, please watch my North American opening market comment. This is Marshall Giller, Head of Investment Research here at FX Primus. Get more market insights on our education pages and turn your trading ideas into action with FX Primus, the safest place to trade.